what channel the football's on? Way back in, it needed a moment of mad. Oh, for God's sake. I don't want to see Adrian Giles on my TV. Can't they get someone to replace his fat, smug, annoying face? No, I don't want to see Adrian Giles on my TV. I also want to get off my screen Lee Dixon and Roy Keane. All I want to do is watch the game and never have to hear Andy Townsend's name. Clive Tilsley only comes to life when someone mentions Man United in 1999. If you want a stupid question asked, let's head over to Gabriel Clark. I'd rather spend all of my time having Michael Owen narrate my life. No, I ain't gonna see any football on ITV. They're so bloody condescending, I wish that their coverage was ending. I refuse to see any football on ITV. It's got so bad, I've thought about actually paying for BT Sport. Their timing choices really hurt. There's about to be a goal. Quick cut to adverts. Every game that they show is great. Even if it's only an FA Cup third round replay. Their pundits, they are so lame. All they ever do is talk in cliches. And there's one more regular glitch. Stop chatting on the f***ing pitch. Please don't let me see Adrian Childs on my TV. My heart, it always sinks when I turn on and see him doing his links. I just don't want to see Adrian Childs on my TV. I'd rather step into the ring and go 12 rounds with Roy Keane. Let's just all agree to boycott ITV. Until they are more clever, come on lads, get your shit together. Let me make things clearer, all your pundits are worse than Alan Shearer. Something must be wrong if Gary Neville's number one. Oh, I don't want to see Adrian Charles on my TV. If I wanted Brummy Japes, I'd watch Frank Skinner in old fantasy football tapes. Oh, I don't want to see any football on ITV. I guess the only way to view is to turn my TV on and switch it to mute. Oh, thank God.